that that's the thing when when we when we went to bed last night and and i turned off the tv and said good night i almost asked deb okay remind me where are we where are we now <laughs> Because it was our first night here. Because when we're in here, we're home. We're home, baby. You know, that's the thing. When we're in here, we're home. Yes. Hey, everybody. Bill and Deb. Hi there. <laughs> we're coming to you from a distance. Yes. Yeah. And there's a reason for that. Yeah, because we have the camera set way over by the bathroom. And you've got yeah. the bedroom and the office. And then the kitchen's behind us. Uh-huh. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> at least that's the way we hope that's the way it appears yeah and i think they can even see the the tv over here okay. and everything too but we did this for a reason and the main reason why is well lots of lots of times i didn't drink enough water this morning <laughs> can't speak <laughs> well and it's allergy season and you know because we spent uh, a lot of time in florida we're actually experiencing two springs <laughs> And Bill's you know, a buttercup, as yeah. y'all know. <laughs> and allergies just, you know, tear me up. So I'm having to deal with that right now. But we've had a lot of people ask us here recently, uh, what do you miss about a house? Yes, in fact, just lately, yeah. I had this question. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I had to really think. Uh-huh. <laughs> and there are I some miss? things, and we'll, we'll admit well, sure that right are. now. Um, Can I tell you the number one thing? Sure. The number one thing I miss is having a garage where I can pull my bike in and pull my bike out all by my big self. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that is, uh, you know, uh, we, we don't really have a garage of sorts. No. Of course, the van we utilize as a garage. And uh, But what was needed, but just like what Deb said, uh, the house that we lived in, and, and we leased this house for several years. I could hit the garage door button mm -hmm. and hop on my bike and go hop yeah. down the road and come back. And <laughs> yeah, well, we were very, very near uh, uh, the uh, dedicated paved bike trails that are all through northwest Arkansas. In just two or three blocks, we were on the paved uh, bike right. trail. Okay, what do but you anyway, miss? What do I miss? Well... I do miss being able to flop down in my recliner or my comfy chair now and then. Yeah, okay. You know. I and mean, I have my bed. <laughs> we'll be honest. We do, we, there are certain things that we do miss. But let's talk about things that we do not miss. Look, Linda, there's one more thing okay. that you miss. Oh, I'm sorry. And you'll miss it for different reasons than I miss it. Okay. In our house, house, Bill had a dedicated bedroom that was his studio. Yes, I did. And he could go in there any time that the urge hit and sit down and pull up his guitar and plug his ear headphones in and he was rocking and rolling. Yeah. The beauty of and that's what Bill misses. What I miss, because we're trying to <laughs> simulate that here. What I miss is being able to shut the door on said mess. <laughs> It wasn't a mess. It was, I kept it neat. Cords running all over the floor. Well, you have to have cords. It huh? It's all part of it. it. Music just doesn't <laughs> appear out of nowhere, contrary to what a lot of people this, think. This topic was what we missed. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> now I have to start explaining all over again. No. <laughs> but it was cool. I could just go in there and uh, I even had my own little makeshift stage and Deb had painted me a beautiful mural behind there. I had a camera already set up. And, uh, and the uh, other bedroom was my art. Correct. I could go in and paint and do my craft stuff anytime yep. I wanted to. This is true. And we had oh, that. Yeah. But it was cool. I could go in there and sit down, you know, on the stool. Uh, my guitar was already set up, ready to go. I hung it around my neck. I plugged it in. I threw a couple of switches on my little console right next to me. And I was working on music. Right. Uh, if there was a song that I was trying to learn, I was able to pipe that song into my little console and I could hear it through my headphones and play along with it. Now, and we are trying to redo that right, in this area. Right, but and I have to go through setting it up. We're getting a little down. closer. Yeah. We're not yeah. too bad. <laughs> but, but the also real cool thing about it, too, was if all of a sudden I decided to record a song, I just threw a switch and I was recording. You know? Yes. And if I wanted the camera to, uh, you know, record video, I threw another switch and the camera was up and running and I was recording. So I miss all that. 
and consequently because I had all that I was able to practice you know roughly about two hours a day and I hardly ever missed a day yeah. you know uh, which uh, I might get to practice now uh, two hours a week you can practice anytime you want well I know but there's always <laughs> something else going on we won't get into that but there's yeah. always something else going on but uh, yeah I do miss that part and Deb misses that part what we do not miss, we don't miss uh, mowing the yard, no. keeping it looking nice and neat. Although Deb that. had a beautiful garden going in the backyard, and she also had a beautiful uh, koi pond that, that she had gotten all set Delilah would up. sit there and catch birds uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah. try to catch fish. <laughs> the birds would come down to take a drink, and Delilah would be sitting there waiting, and then she'd jump out of you know jump out of nowhere and grab a bird. Many of the time, I uh, had to yell at her, "Let that bird go!" Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, when we were watching her, uh, we were able to keep her from going ahead and dispatching the bird. So those are a few uh, things we missed. But we don't know how many she took out, you know, when we weren't watching her. But right. yeah, there are, there are certain things that we do miss. But, but. And, and there's a lot that we don't miss. Exactly. Know. Here, you know. like right now, we're by water, which mm -hmm. we always try to get a sight by water, if at all possible. Yeah. And that's my koi pond. Well, they don't know what that is. <laughs> That's my koi pond. You don't know that out at there. At the end of the video, we'll show you our view as you step outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, and cause the sun, no, the sun, the sun, we had a pretty heavy rainstorm this morning. And by the way, we had a pretty heavy rainstorm and we've been through three or four pretty heavy rainstorms since we worked on the leak. So we're ready to cover uh, that back So up. now we're finally ready to put this all together because there are no more leaks at all. Not one Woo! drop. So uh, the repair that we did, uh, thank you, Jerry. Jerry helped me with that. Uh, it worked. So it worked. Uh, and that stuff, I forgot what we used, but uh, to paint that and, and, and all the way around everywhere. Well, but you can pop a picture up. I will. Mm -hmm. And the uh, but the rest of the top of the trailer is going to get painted with that stuff. Now, something now. we don't miss mm -hmm. is now during an electric storm, if the electricity goes off. Right. Bam! Our transfer switch kicks in, and we sh we're back with yeah. electricity in yeah. a split. To the fastest, the fastest part of that is the coffee pot doesn't yeah. <laughs> even change time. Right <laughs> now in the house, we was on a great electric service. No, we was on a, our electric service and was terrible. It would go out daily. Sometimes you'd come home and you'd have to reset all the clocks because mm -hmm. they were blinking. Yeah, even when there was no storms or nothing, the power yeah. would go off. <laughs> so, yeah. we don't miss that. Yeah. Because, wow. Yeah. So, so yeah, we have, you know, uh, we, we're all, we're all, we're hardly ever, well, we're never without power. That's all there is to yeah. it. You know, uh, people. Thank you, Marvin, for yeah, helping us with that. Thank you, Marvin, for helping us with that. But, uh, we, uh. <laughs> You know, it's funny when we're in a campground and the power goes down and people start walking outside. Are you without power? Well, we're without power, but we're not without power. And here's why, you know, so it is nice to have that. That is a now, great blessing, in now, my opinion. When we built this trailer, and we've talked about this before on many occasions, we built this knowing that we were going to be living in it. In fact, we've been in this particular trailer now for three years. Um, the trailer before that which was smaller and it was still very livable but we decided we wanted something bigger so that's when we decided to uh you know put the other trailer up for sale and it sold fairly quickly and uh, then we uh we had this plan laid out the design and we put it in in action and so here's what we've got but uh, we built this uh, because we wanted to have as many comforts here as we we could have, uh, depend you know, and still taking into consideration the limited space that we had. And how many square feet do we uh, have? Well, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, I think it's 160. 160, <laughs> you know, give or take a, a few feet there. But uh, a lot of people forget about what we did here and the reason why we did it because we wanted as many comforts that, that we had in our house as possible and there are a few things that we are still lacking but we can deal with that but for instance you know right behind me you see a, a 10 cubic foot house type refrigerator we've got a toaster oven we've got a microwave we uh when we are cooking on pots and pans we use an induction cooktop which deb keeps in a drawer down here 
uh, we can pretty much make any kind of meal or Deb can pretty much make any kind of meal I'm not going to take any credit for that however I am the resident oatmeal cooker a person cannot live on well I guess you could live on oatmeal alone a person could but that eh, wouldn't be good yeah. but uh, <laughs> but that's the one thing that I do is the oatmeal but uh, uh, we have all those amenities here that we can utilize not too different from being in a house deb bakes cakes although they're bad for me uh pies you know uh, uh you know I, I the list goes on and on and well, on I, I can't think of anything except uh -uh. a turkey i mean i can't make a turkey in my toaster oven no. but you know that's what going to the daughter's house is for. <laughs> Right? Yeah, I try to be there <laughs> around that time. But I uh, have made homemade bread. I've made cinnamon roll, homemade cinnamon rolls. Oh, you made you made cinnamon rolls for all the kids, and uh, you know, around the Thanksgiving time, you know, when we well, all get together. I'm sick. Just this last winter, I made them in this house. I know. I That's had what five I'm, batches of bread I know. making. It I wasn't know. the kids weren't involved. <laughs> okay. But she she makes huge batches of these because everybody that's ever tasted them, uh, when we get together with friends and whenever she makes them when we get together with friends, they all have to have dead cinnamon rolls. So But anyway, anyway. there's nothing yeah. that I can think of uh, that I can't cook. Yeah. That I cooked in the house. Now as far as uh, weather conditions are concerned, uh, our mini split is awesome. We are never hot in here because the mini split works wonderfully to keep us nice and uh, cool. cool. In fact, it'll absolutely freeze you out of here no matter how hot <laughs> it is outside if you let it go. <laughs> uh, it works great as a heat pump. We've been in temperatures down into the single digits and uh, haven't had any issues at all staying warm. No. You know, when it comes to the bathroom, uh, we have a regular four-foot shower like you would have in a house. Our shower pan is a house-type shower pan. Um, we have a vanity sink. We have, you know, all those things that, uh, you know, we had in the house as far as that goes. When we do get tired and it's time to come in and settle down, I'm sure you can see it in the corner of your screen there, but you see these big red pillows here. Well, when they're stacked just right, Stretching out on this and sitting up against those pillows are almost as comfortable, if not more so, on many occasions, as it would be if I was stretched out in my recliner. And then you I know had. the beauty of that? What's that? If I happen to fall asleep, I don't have to get up and go to bed. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and, you know, we have people kind of laugh at us because we have a 55 inch TV. But hey, this is the kind of stuff we had in the house, you know? So, uh, we don't watch a whole lot of TV. We watch quite a bit of YouTube of a morning. That's how we wake up. We'll uh, drink a whole pot of coffee between the two of us starting at around 6.30 of a morning and watch YouTube videos. And uh, then we and get the up weather. and get around. We always have to check the weather. Yeah, and we can do that. Our T-Mobile home internet service, uh, which is a, a recent addition in the last couple of years or so, uh, has been working pretty darn good. Very, uh, very rarely does it not work. Yeah, yeah. We've had a couple of campgrounds where, you know, it wasn't the greatest in the world, but in most cases it works just fine. Uh, we're able to watch uh, movies uh, where we're at right now, and, and on our phones we can hardly even make a phone call, <laughs> but the T-Mobile Home Internet is grabbing Internet from somewhere because we're, <laughs> we're able to stream, you know, the stuff that we want to stream. So we're, we're really quite comfortable. And we can see us living this way for a long, long time. And, and then, of course, it, it, this is what it boils down to. Um, we stay mostly at Corps of Engineer campgrounds, which we, I know, we harp on that a lot. But the reason why we do is because our rent averages around $400 a month or less. Including utilities. Including utilities. Yeah, we don't have to worry about, um, okay, Deb, did you pay the electric bill? Uh, do we have the money to pay the electric bill? <laughs> yeah, that was always you know. a thing. <laughs> <laughs> or the gas bill. Now, you know. now but the downside of that uh -huh. is we have to pack up and move. This is true. At least every two weeks. Yeah. And, the and that is a downside sometimes. Yeah, it's a downside, but on the other side <laughs> of the coin, it's also positive because all of a sudden we have a whole fresh front yard out yes. there. And the, the beauty of that, and I think we've mentioned that before, when you're in here and we're all put together, this is our living, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. 
it, it's home. You open that door, and we've got a whole new surrounding. In exactly. fact, Delilah probably suffers that from the most. Right. Because <laughs> yeah, because she gets used to where we are, and then they all now got to get used to stuff all and over And we open again. the door, and she's and like, shocked. What, what in the world? <laughs> where am I at and now? It's kind of funny. I didn't tell you this last night. But last night, we spent our first night at our new spot. We're at our new spot, and you'll be seeing a, a tour of this campground here before too long. And it's a beautiful campground. It, too, is along the Arkansas River in southern Arkansas. And we're uh, going to be here during the solar eclipse. Yeah, and we just found out that it's possible that uh, at first we thought we were going to be on the edge of the eclipse, but uh, we read a news report this morning that where there might have been a slight miscalculation. And if this miscalculation is true, that means we're going to be right in the center of the path. So that's going to be even cooler. It's cool, and we still. got some friends coming to meet right. us. So, so kind of anyway, cool. we're going to have an eclipse party, you know, yeah. here. Um, <laughs> but uh, th that's the thing. When, when, we, when we went to bed last night and, and I turned off the TV and said goodnight, I almost asked Deb, okay, remind me, where are we, where are we now? <laughs> Because it was our first <laughs> night here. Because when we're in here, we're home. We're home, baby. You know, that's the thing. <laughs> when we're in here, we're home. Yes. And I know with some folks, because they get used to living in a house, they get used to coming home to the same place every day. They get used to sitting in their regular chair every day, uh, going into their backyard. They get used to all this. And it's hard for folks to understand this concept of our, of our life that, that, that we have chosen you know but uh, we uh, as far as I'm concerned and I, I'm pretty sure Deb feels the same way we have no intention of doing anything different for quite some time not till I have to no no <laughs> and we're a long ways from having to you know go back to living in a house or an apartment or whatever so anyway we just thought we would share this with you and and here again we understand this is strictly from our point of view Yes. You know, we know that uh, still, and we've said this before, this kind of lifestyle is not for everyone. Well, I guess we there's one that. more thing we might want to touch on. Okay. Living this lifestyle, you mm -hmm. have to deal with things that maybe you wouldn't have to in a house, such as hauling your waste water away. True. Making sure that your fresh water, making sure you have fresh water. Yeah. And here we are hooked up to city water, but the water pressure is pretty bad i think we're going to fill our tank yeah we're going to fill our tank because we have three times the pressure with our uh, pump than, than what we got so those are something here. you don't necessarily but, have to mess with in a house but it's it takes 15 minutes on the other side of the coin we also made it simpler you know we have no sewer here so we have to go to the dump station well we're going to be here for 14 days roughly and so what we did and we've talked about this before those of you that has followed us for any length of time we have an auxiliary waste tank in the van, and we have a system set up where we can, uh, within 10 minutes, pump everything off of this waste tank that's in the trailer into the van. Then we just simply drive the van up to the dump station and spend another 5 to 10 minutes there uh, dumping it at the dump station, and we're done. It's, you know. it's less time than driving to the water department yeah. and paying my water bill. Uh, <laughs> this is true. It's less time. It is. So, you know, um, we've, we've, we've done other things other than just with the trailer, you know, to, uh, make, our lives to make our lives simpler, where we can spend more time relaxing out in our gazelle gazebo, which we have set up just outside, uh, and looking at the, at the river, which we're going to go out and do here in a little bit. I'm going to be out there editing this video out at the river, you know, <laughs> looking at the river. But anyway, that's, uh, that's it in a nutshell. That's it, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Can't think of anything else. Oh, don't forget... Uh, Pre-order of shirts. Oh yeah, rendezvous. yeah. Don't forget uh, those of you that uh, want to uh, uh, get a shirt for the rendezvous. Those that are coming to the rendezvous June the tenth through the fourteenth at um, Greenville, Missouri. Greenville, Missouri, at Greenville Recreation Area. It's another Corps of Engineer campground. The last we checked, the campground is full, and we think it's ninety-eight percent our our followers. Um, but if you want to pre-order a shirt, you need to email us at iridetinyhouse at gmail.com iridetinyhouse at gmail.com um, and we'll also link 
put in a you know, post a link to the video where we explained everything about that if you missed that video which was out just a few days ago right so if you if you need to go back and take a look at that video and i believe where we start talking about the shirts is a little over 11 minutes into the video so if you don't want to watch all the other stuff just fast forward to the 11 minute mark and um, you'll be coming right up on what we uh, what we would like to do uh, if you want to pre-order some shirts anyway i think i guess that's it this is bill and so. dad <laughs> you think that's it i think that's it this is bill and dad with i ride tiny house adventures and you know exactly what we're going to say and maybe you understand it even more so now <laughs> we are not camping we are living you all get out there and do some living and we will see you again soon bye-bye now bye-bye